what's going on you guys welcome back to another video in this video i want to talk about how narcissists don't want to lose you but they don't fight to keep you either what narcissists do is play on your emotions and sit back and wait on your reaction to the way they discard you and you may not feel like they discarded you you may start to feel like they just become unavailable out the blue and when it happens of course you're gonna feel neglected you're gonna feel left out and you know it's gonna make you feel like they just don't care it's not that they want to lose you but they're not gonna fight to keep you they're not going to prove to you that you know you're worthy of the fight narcissists are not the type to you know really go hard behind people and it's because they feel entitled to have you in the first place so they don't feel the need to fight for you know what they really want so i feel as though narcissists kind of create their thoughts from emotions and when they create their thoughts from their emotions they can become very unstable and unsure of their own heart it makes them have an unpure heart and they single-handedly ruin and sabotage and self-destruct their selves and their relationships by doing that. You know, they always have negative thoughts of insecurity. They never believe in stepping out on faith and saying, you know, I'm going to make the first move. It's okay to run behind the one I love. They're never bold enough to beg for a second chance with a person they're not the type to do pop-ups in a way that confesses their love for you in front of the crowd they do pop-ups like in a crazy way to where you know it's like they find reasons to hoover you like their pop-ups comes from hoovering but they do that because they again feel entitled to you they don't feel like they have to work hard to get you back they just pop up and think that you're just gonna take them back the pop-up is never you know it's never a wake-up call that they messed up you know so they'll never show up unannounced and say things like i don't want to lose you I want to spend the rest of my life with you. You're the love of my life. I just want peace and joy and happiness with you. You're not going to hear that from a narcissist. You know, you're not going to get understanding from a narcissist. You're not going to get the passive aggressive, you know, I'm not going to let you go. I'm going to work hard for this because I feel like you're, you know, you're not going to get that scene in a movie, you know, like um, on a notebook one of the movies that we love so much you're not gonna get that from a narc because it'll never come from the hardest it's always rehearsed it's always a tactic it's always something that they picked up from somebody else that's why it's never any true emotion behind it their emotions a lot of times come from you know they getting their emotions about things the wrong way it's always negative emotions it's always emotions of uncertainty and um, emotions of insecurity. You know, they never st feel strong and bold enough to say, I know who I am because they don't. They pick up their character from other people. So that's why they lose it quickly. They forget who they are on a daily basis because they have to pretend to be somebody else. They have to do what's needed to get their supply back. And that's why you never really 
feel like a heartfelt um you just never really feel the narcissist like really show and express genuine love and concern for you because they always showing you a different person and you have to wonder okay who is this now that i'm dealing with who is this person i'm talking to now you know so that's what you kind of can expect out of a narcissist they don't want to lose you but they won't fight to get you back either they're not the type of person to to express their love for you in front of other people because mind you they have to keep that act up they're going to express their love for you doing the hoover and low bombing you know in private with you and that's to keep you in a mindset of believing them once you start to question their true intentions for the relationship you know it's when they um show you their true colors because they don't want you to question nothing they want you to just accept what it is what it is they give you and be happy with it be satisfied and just keep pleasing them as long as they're getting their needs met you know everything is fine but it's always forget about you the moment that you um like i mentioned in in the last video the moment that you you express how you feel about things and you have a difference of opinion you know you choose something different from the narc they got a problem with that and they punish you they give you the silent treatment they shut down and they shut you out they stonewall you they do everything they can to get you to comply and they do that out of selfishness they are very selfish and entitled and they feel entitled to have things their way at all times you know the thing about the narcissist is that they really show you who they are when they don't show up when they should when the time is right when it's most important when the relationship is on the verge of ending you know that's kind of like the turning point of things they don't show up it's like you'll be waiting for the narcissist to make the first move be bold and say you know i'm gonna put my pride aside and follow my heart the narcissist refuse to get out of that safe space that they've created for themselves. And that, that comes from a huge ego. I don't know why they have such a huge ego. You know, but once they get out of their safe space, they'll learn that, not that I'm expecting it to happen, the narcissist refuse to get out of this safe space. Because they feel like they're giving away their power. They feel like they're giving too much of their power away. And now you're going to expect them to always be that way. Which they should be. They should be willing to give as much love and honesty and respect to their partner as they expect to get from them. But you're not going to get it from them. And that's why they're going to forever be alone. The narcissist is alone even when they're in a relationship. Even when they're married they're alone they're lonely people that's why they have to do so much to keep up this fake persona you know they play different characters because they feel like this is the character i need to be if i'm this type of person then i'll be accepted if i'm accepted i can get my needs met it's all a game to the north and as long as people are playing along with them, the narc continues to win. They're going to always win. But the moment you turn your back on the narcissist and show them that you deserve better, you know, that's when you will see the mask slip and not slip in a way to where they get angry, but it slips to show you their true character.